name is Laura Carroll, and I teach uh, third grade at Paintsville Elementary. And we are still self-contained uh, K through three, so I have all subjects every day uh, to try to kind of, you know, plan for and be ready for. And something I noticed, you know, last year, especially with the new science standards that are a lot about modeling, building models, um, I didn't feel like we were quite getting there in my classroom. So I kind of researched a way to try to help me step out of my comfort zone to help them have those opportunities. And um, she kind of mentioned uh, the Lego We Do kits in her uh, presentation. And so I wrote a grant and received, um, was able to buy six of those. They're about $175 a piece. Um, so it was a little over a thousand, but I, I paid the rest with some of my school money. And so, uh, which uh, they're actually made for about two kids. Um, so I had to come up with a way for all, you know, 20 some kids to, to divvy up between six kits. And so uh, we actually got them in and we had just um, kind of finished our unit on life cycles and changes and that kind of thing. And there's a, a, a lesson plan. And that's kind of what I like about the kids is they come with the curriculum and the lesson plan and everything that you need. Um, and so they actually built a frog. And then after they built it, they were able to change it the different ways uh, with the Legos to kind of model the life cycle of a frog. And then when they get it built, you can actually make it move and walk around and do, do different things with it. Um, and um, like I said, I'm really not good with that stuff, but our kids today are. <laughs> so, you, you know, they really took over and um, they did a, a really, really good job. Um, and they enjoyed it. So... The first time we did it, um, I had four to a group, four to a kit, and so we had a director, a peacekeeper, um, an engineer, and a, a, a coder. And that way, you know, there was no fighting over who got to do what, and we just kind of drew randomly. Um, and so the director was kind of in charge of going through the steps of how they, sh you know, should build, and telling the peacekeeper what pieces to get out of the kits because they're they're organized very well. Um, the engineer put them together, and then. You know, as it got built, the coder kind of decided how to make the, the frog move, and you can make him change colors, and you can put different sound effects in the frog to make, you know, whatever you want to do. So um, that worked out really well, and I just told him we'll be doing this a lot throughout the year, so everybody will get to do everything once, you know, so don't panic if you didn't get to be what you wanted today. Um, and then what I like about it is when you're finished, you put all the pieces back, and then when you're ready to build another model, you're ready to go. It's not like you have to go buy a bunch of stuff and keep, and then, you know, kind of use that so you can't use that next time you want to do it so they're very um, practical like you can keep using them year after year because they're Legos um, and like I said that was kind of the piece I'm trying to start doing more of the STEM more of the technology and and those kinds of things and I would really recommend them they they work really well in the classroom and like I said they they tie well to the next generation science standards so it makes it easy especially when you have to teach everything to find something like that that's really easy to set up and move. And the, uh, once you you know you get the kits, you can download the the app on the Chromebooks. And so once you're, you've got your frog built or whatever you built, um, you just click the app and then you go in. And that's how you make it move. So the apps, you know, everything that you need comes comes with it. So it's it's really easy to use, especially for someone like me who's not good with stuff like that. So if I can do it, you know, it's 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 user friendly. So. That was a little bit about my grant, and I'm hoping that um, with the with the Lego kits, we will be doing enough you know enough science, especially in doing more models because that's that's very that's very challenging, especially when you're kind of self-contained and that kind of thing. So that's my grant.